this with parameters. God's planted a garden and he's made all kinds of things growing in all trees and he's put mankind in there to work it and take care of it. So when you have a garden, you have to dig it over. You have to weed it and get rid of the, the plants that are growing there that you don't want. You have to plant what you do want there and you have to plant wisely and, you know, if stuff, if plants like dry and sunshine, you don't put them in a damp waterlogged corner. You have to prune things back. You have to cut things back, sometimes to make them grow more. Sometimes you have to pull things out because it's the end of their life lifespan. Um, but you plant their plants in the soil and they grow and they produce their fruit. Whether their fruit is that they look good and they're pleasing to the eye or whether they actually produce uh, stuff for you to eat, that is their job. They have their job. But God supplies the water um, the, and the nutrients are there in the soil, ready to go. We take care of it, we water it. Um, sometimes your garden lies dormant. Sometimes it's um, it's overwintering. It might be blanketed in snow. It might be so waterlogged that you just think everything's going to rot away below ground. Then sunshine comes, maybe um, the seasons come and go and things start to push through the ground and you see your fruit. The plants come through to fruition for food or, or to look good. They become, you have some vibrant times, don't we? Um, so God supplies the water. He supplied the water in the Garden of Eden. He supplies the water even now. And our job with the garden is to, to work in, take care of it. And the parameters in a garden are physically the fence, marking your territory, aren't they? Um, marking your boundaries. And in the Garden of Eden, God had put two trees, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the, the tree of life. And mankind was free to eat from any tree in the garden apart from the knowledge of good and evil. So there was one boundary. That was it. What are our boundaries today? What are our do's and don'ts from God? Because uh, they're not to do with trees anymore, are they? What well, boundaries are put in place um, to keep us safe for our well-being? And fundamentally, if what you're doing is you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and you love your neighbour as yourself, you're not going to go far wrong. You're going to be working in the purposes of God, walking in the purposes of God, sorry. So how do you find out what your purpose is? OK, the parameters I've kind of just mentioned. Um, but what are your purpose? What is your purpose? What is your garden? Because we all have a different one. We are where God has put us and God supplies everything that we need to do our job. He puts us in the situation and he gives us what we need. So physically with the garden, with the garden at the beginning, uh, everything was planted there by God. And it was watered and mankind just had to look after it. What I like as well is um, there's a whole paragraph about the water, the river coming in, and then it splits into four and it talks about where it goes off. And I just thought that's true of our lives. God has put us in our individual garden. But, you know, the water, that the spirit of God that runs through us flows out to other places and other people. Um, almost without us having to do anything because water just goes where it's supposed to go. So, your purpose, love God, your parameters, do what pleases him, keep away from the don'ts and be blessed. Amen.